Hey there, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create rules for scoring and credit limit calculation. It will help you perform a detailed and consistent analysis of your customers and further help you avoid unnecessary credit risks. So, let's get started. To configure credit scoring rules, we need to use the following menu path. From the Display IMG menu, click on Credit Management, then Credit Risk Monitoring, go to Master Data, and then click on Create Rule for Scoring and Credit Limit Calculation. Once you are on the required screen, let's select a rule name for which we want to add scores and credit limits for the customers. Here I will select B2C New, which is a rule for new private customers, and go to the Score tab from the menu to define the scoring formula that you want to use for this customer. For this type of customer, I will use the formula score underscore B2C that we have already created in the previous video. Next, I will choose a validity that defines the period of time until which this rule is applicable. Since I want to make this rule valid for one year, I will select 365 days. Next, go to the credit limit tab and select a credit segment that corresponds to the type of customer you have selected. Here, you could either select the credit segment from the existing list, or you could create a new entry. Since I want to create a new entry, first, I will select the credit segment from the drop-down list, which is 5860. It is the credit segment that we created during the first tutorial of this lesson. Next, I will select the respective credit formula rule and validity, and tick the trace box as shown. Next, let's define the procedure by clicking on the credit limit rule and select the Rating Procedure Selection tab. Under the Rating Procedure Selection tab, first, select the Rating Procedure, and from the pop-up, choose the corresponding Rating Procedure as per requirement. I am selecting 5860EXT that we had defined earlier during the Define Rating Procedure video. Next, fill up the Validity field. I am taking this as 365 days. Then, select the ID type field and, from the pop-up, select the required identification type, which will be the commercial register number over here. Finally, as the last step, click on the Save button. With this, we have successfully configured credit scoring rules in SAP. Thank you for watching the lesson on how to configure credit scoring rules and models in FSCM Credit in SAP. I hope that you were able to understand all the steps and methods that were explained during this lesson. Stay tuned for more such videos on Hayako. Thank <laughs> you.